Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you insert a new chart into a worksheet, the entire chart will appear selected. You will also see the Chart Tools contextual tabs appear within the ribbon. First, you should become familiar with selecting chart elements. Note that a chart is not simply a single object, but rather is a complex object that is comprised of many other smaller selectable objects. You should be aware of exactly what element within a chart is selected before you begin any procedure such as formatting or moving the chart itself or the objects within the chart. One way to select objects is by using your mouse. You can click on the individual elements within the chart in order to select them. Note that in order to select the entire chart, you should click into the chart area. That is the blank area that surrounds most of the actual elements of the chart. When the chart area is selected, you can then perform functions that affect the entire chart, such as moving the entire chart or formatting the entire background of the chart. Inside of the chart area is the plot area. This is the area inside of the chart area where the actual graphic representation of your data is located. Inside of the plot area, you can click on the graphics to select a series from your chart. You can then click on an individual point in a series to select an individual point. Note that other chart elements, such as the chart titles, the data labels, and the legend are all independently selectable. So in summary, you should be aware of exactly what element within the chart is selected before you perform an operation or a function. Otherwise, you could inadvertently make mistakes such as moving elements within the chart when you mean to move the entire chart, or formatting the entire chart background when you perhaps meant to format only a single data series. Another way to select a chart, or many of the elements of a chart, is by using the Chart Elements drop-down that appears within the Current Selection button group on the Layout tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Use this drop-down to select the major elements within your chart. However, not all chart elements are shown in the drop-down list. You can also click on Chart Elements with your mouse and then inspect the value that's shown within the Chart Elements drop-down to see exactly what you have selected within your chart. This makes a great double check to ensure that you have the correct chart elements selected before you begin a procedure. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachyoucomp.com forward slash free.